Memorial Day, also known as Poppy Day, has been observed in Commonwealth of Nations member states since the end of the First World War. The member members of their armed forces who died in the line of duty. The armistice, which ended World War I, became effective at 11 hours of November 11, 1918. After the World War II, the Armistice Day was renamed Remembrance Day in honor of those who died in both world wars and instituted as a National Day of Remembrance. The solemn occasion attracted a cross section of society, including members of the diplomatic corps, traditional rulers, service commanders, and ministers of state. At about 10.55 hours, there was the call to remembrance, and the siren was sounded. Followed by the reading of the beyond verses and the sound of the last pulse. Then two minute silence after which the reveille was observed to pay respect to the fallen heroes. President Ekufuado, the ravine commander, laid a first reef on behalf of the government and people of Ghana. The Deputy British High Commissioner, Mr. Tom Hartley, laid a second. But the Commonwealth, while Rwanda High Commissioner to Ghana, Dr. Isaac Kiribo, laid another on behalf of the diplomatic community. The Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Ben Aqua, laid a fourth reef for the Ghana Armed Forces and other security agencies, while the Chairman of the Veterans Association of Ghana, Major General Sidi Yachid, laid a fifth on behalf of Ghana's veterans. The Osuman Jenny Okwe Kinkans laid a sixth reef for all traditional rulers in Ghana. President Kufuor later signed a remembrance book at the Memorial Park.